In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to use the Illumasthetic dimming module to retain all your factory lighting functions. The reason why we are using the Illumasthetic dimming module is because when the vehicle is on, uh, the output is actually 14 volts and the LED voltage and the resistor values that we spec for are for 12 volts, which is why we need to use this to step down from 14 to 12. On the right side, you can see night in, break in, turn in, reverse in, and ground. This is going to be for your harness side. So your signals are going to come in from your harness into this board on the top section. And for the bottom, where it says turn LED, reverse LED, night or break, that's input into your board. And you need to wire uh, these into the back of the panels. And for ground, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, left, left side or right side, you assign to each because it's all on, it's all grounded on the board, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so in the next step of the process, uh, I went ahead and wired in about 10 to 12 inches of wire onto the board. And you can see that I separated um, the input from the car and input from the board to the back of the panels in two different colors. And this is for the ease of configuring the wires later on so we don't get them mixed up. So what I did just now was tin the ends of the two inputs from the dimming module so that we can connect this onto the back of the panels. And before you do that, you also want to find a spot on the panel where you can tin the copper wire. So in the case of this one, I tinned it over here and that's for the night and break. And we also tinned it down here for right here covered by the wire that's for reverse and the reason why we didn't do turn signal is because from our last tutorial we have the Z LED uh, turning module uh, wired in already and these will also be wired into the illumosetic dimming module As you can see, um, we have the input directly from the dimming module into the back of the panels. And that's because we only need reverse, night and break to be toned down from 14 volts to 12. That's why they can go directly from the dimming module into the back of the panels. In the case of our turn signal, since this turn particular turn signal is animated, we have the Z LED board uh, handling that. So the signal uh, for the turn signal LEDs can still be wired into the dimming module itself since the module is still wired for 12 volts. So you can go ahead and wire the two input sides for the turn signal animation module into the dimming module. All said and done, the only wires that should be coming off the back of the board right now should be the four inputs from the harness side on the dimming module. Uh, we'll now show you how you can wire this end of things to your vehicle harness. This here is the back of an Evo taillight on the passenger side. So what we have here is reverse, turn signal, night and brake, and night. What you want to do is take out one of these, uh, which is reverse, and ground, what you want to do is take the wires from here out of the sockets from here. So then you can wire this directly to the back of the dimming module.
So depending on the application, uh, they're more or less going to be the same. The socket type, uh, they have these metal clips that retain in the housing itself. What you want to do is cut open the housing so you can pull the clips out and along with it, the wires. Uh, you want to be careful not to touch the bottom part as this is where it seals to the back of the light. And we want to retain the same uh, moisture isolation as original. There are many ways you can connect the wires from the harness side to the dingy module. Uh, how we're going to do it today is with crimps. So as good practice, you always want to put a power side with female crimps so that there's no accidental circuits. You'll notice that we're only gonna use the ground on the reverse plug, and that's because all of these grounds on the back of the light all go to the same place. So you can pick any one of the sockets in order to ground your entire light. So now as you can see, we have the dimming module plugged up to the vehicle harness. From here, dimming module onto the vehicle harness, and we're running power to the stock harness and if configured correctly you will have yourself a funct functioning pair of taillights.